Can I get to, can I get some more of them screens? We're looking at a triple monitor setup here, and this works for laptops, but it'll do a lot more than that, and there's a few different reasons for it, so stay tuned. I'm gonna tell you how many crazy things you could do with this laptop screen extender from Rodolf. This video is brought to you by me, and this. new Zweihander album is here. I've been having a lot of fun. I made most of these songs last month, which is October, and I've been combining OPL, like DOS OPL 2 and 3, with SNES sounds to kind of create something that I think is a bit unique, but still sounds like the nostalgia of our past, you know, like, I want to know what this evokes. Like, what, what do you think about it? And hopefully this review is correct. All killer, no filler. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm not going to say anything. You're going to be the judge. So let me know what you think of this. If you want to listen on Spotify, by all means, it's there. It's on streaming services. It's on YouTube music. Even on Instagram, you can open up the app and look up whatever songs you like on the album and then add them to your photos or your videos. But if you want to support the artist, please do head over to Bandcamp and grab a copy here. I did the math, and when it comes to average plays, this makes 800 times more than Spotify. So be sure to head over here and support the artist. Thank you very much. I really hope you enjoy the music. Here's a little sample, and then we'll get on to the video. All right, so this is the Rodolf 15.6 inch laptop screen extender. It gives you two extra monitors that you can use with your laptop, but you can do a lot more with them. There's so many different positions that you can put it in. Now, first off, let's take it out of the box and see what we got. So you got all kinds of cables here. You got a couple different HDMI that are HDMI to USB-C. You have a couple USB-C to USB-C, and then we've got USB-C to USB type A. Two of each of those. Why do we have so many cables? Well, you'll see in just a second. Then we have two 15.6 inch monitors, and these are very cleverly stacked. One of them has just some little feet on it so that they don't you know, smash into each other and they stack face to face and they're held together by magnets. So we have magnets on top of magnets on top of magnets here that hold everything into a nice little sandwich. You pull it out and it does take a few seconds to put together because you have to fold some things and the, the stand has a nice firm metal piece that folds back and then you set it down. Now, unlike the other laptop stand that I've tested, this one does not connect directly to your monitor. You set up the stand separately from your monitor. It needs to be leaning back a little bit. If you lean it forward some, the thing is that these monitors are kind of heavy, so they start to lean forward and then they just kind of bump into the back of your, your monitor. And if you don't have a good hinge on your laptop, it'll start to push that forward. So you have to kind of find the right balance. I like mine a little more, little more forward, uh, but you kind of want them back a little bit if you want them to like just kind of stay there. So the easiest way to hook these up is to use a modern device like a modern laptop that has USB-C that also delivers video. Just plug up USB-C to USB-C and you're done. It powers it and sends video signal and you're done with just one cable. That worked with one because I have one USB-C that also does a display port on this laptop, but otherwise I have HDMI. Now, if you're doing HDMI, it's not gonna deliver power, so you'll need two of the cables. Use the HDMI to USB-C cable and then use a USB-C to USB cable. It could be USB type A or whatever. Just plug that in and that'll be your power. If your laptop or PC or mini PC or whatever has two USB-C, that do power delivery and display, well then you'll just need one cable for each of your monitors. This does both landscape and portrait mode. So we have some really cool options there, but it does a lot more than that. Before we get into that, let's just cover the specs of the actual monitors themselves. These are 15.6 inch 1080p monitors. This will fit laptop monitors or even portable monitors from size 13 to size 17 inches. These support HDR. Since it's IPS, you're going to get the 178 degree viewing angles, and that works from all directions, whether you're doing portrait or landscape. 16.7 million colors does have HDR, and it runs at 60 hertz. Now, these are designed to be side monitors, but there's a lot of instances where I found them very useful as primary monitors uh, in a couple different scenarios. So that's where we need to start talking about all the different ways that you can set this up. Now I'll start doing some little, you know, show and tell here. You can just set them up all the way across landscape, just like a normal triple monitor setup. You can just do full on landscape all the way across and have a regular triple monitor setup, watch a movie on one, work on the other, have websites and stuff on the other. But if you're gonna have websites and stuff on one, I always like to do a vertical monitor. Very easy to just, you know, adjust it, turn one of those 90 degrees, now you got a vertical monitor. You can have both of them vertical if you wanted to, totally doable. Now this is where it gets a little weird because we have our own stand here and we can move things around. If you wanna slide the stand around and reposition it, well, they've included some extenders. You have an extender for the arm so that you can mount them vertically. Now we can have two monitors running in landscape mode 
and you can run them vertically. So that's going to be kind of cool. And you can like span them across monitors, do whatever you want right there. Now you can also run them back to back. If you want to put one on each side and kind of make a little triangle and have, you know, the, the display on one side and the display on the other, totally fine. One thing that's weird about that when it comes to mirroring, I found that when I was mirroring, the way that the laptops are put on the stands, the way they snap into place, I mean, when they were mirrored, one of them needed to be flipped and the other one didn't. So that was a little bit weird, but I mean, I guess it is what it is with these weird setups. Now, if you want to get even weirder, you can do a vertical one on top and a horizontal one on the bottom. You can do all kinds of ridiculous things. You can do two side by side. You can do, I mean, just look at all this stuff I'm doing here. And there's probably even some configurations that I missed. If you turn the monitor stand on its side and lay it flat, well, you've got two Two, you know, you got two stands sticking up at that point and you can just kind of mount them any way you like. So if you're doing presentations or you're playing video games with your friends and you want monitors pointing in all directions, you can get away with all kinds of crazy, you know, crazy setups right here. So for me, I think the utility of having a gazillion different ways that you could set these up is really nice. I think the monitor stands that like clip onto the monitor are easier to set up and take a little bit less time to like mess around with to get it just perfect. But once you set this up, this is awesome. And another huge bonus with something like this, this will work with tablets. And the reason that is, is because it doesn't clip onto the actual screen. It just kind of floats beside the screens. So you have to pull it out just a little bit more, but I have a solution for this. So, you know, like my, my tablets, they have USB-C ports on the side. So I got these little things. These are L adapters for USB-C. So I can just plug that in a little L adapter. And then what that'll do is that'll wrap the cable around to the back and then you'll only have, you know, this much. So it'll add a little bit to the distance of the monitor, but not much. And then you can plug in your USB-C stuff just fine. And there's some really powerful tablets, like my Minis Forum tablet is ridiculously powerful. So I can plug that in. That's a huge bonus for something like this. The monitor stands that actually clip on to the monitor, they cover up the USB ports on tablets. So they really only work with laptops or something like that where you have the ports on the bottom in the base. I think this is more versatile by far compared to the, any of the other laptop screen extenders. Now, is it easier to carry around? Well, it's a little bit bigger. It's 15.6 inches, so it's a little heavier but it's not really that different when it comes to like carrying it around. It's also really sturdy because it's metal. And I think the versatility is like kind of hard to beat. The only thing I would prefer is if it was, um, they figure out some way to mount everything so that I didn't have to run the back-to-back -back stuff, uh, one flipped and one not flipped. I don't know, maybe I could mess around with it myself. There's so many different ways you can set this up that maybe I'll figure it out. I'll be like, oh, I can flip it around this way and do this. And then I won't have to do that because it would be nice to have mirrored on both sides and not have to have one of them flipped or whatever, but yeah. Um, that's a very strange and simple use case, but you know, it could be a thing. I also really like the fact that if you wanted to mirror your main monitor to people on the sides, well, you could just turn these things out. They turn out so far if you're in a meeting and have your main monitor and have the two monitors on the side mirrored and then everybody could be seeing the same thing that's on your screen. It's pretty cool. You know, I've been clearing out shirts for a while, but I got to get serious and clear out some of these mouse pads too. So we're going to have some sales on these. Just look for the sales. This is $11.99. I think my voice is going away, so I need to end this. But yeah, come over here. I'll put a few more of these things on sale. These are not sold out. I just found some. I'll put these back on there. Y'all need some, some Gaben on your desk staring at you while you're playing with your uh, little uh, video games? I'll see you in the comments. And since they're IPS, you do have this 170 degree viewing angle. So since it's IPS, since it's IPS, it 